We seem to have accidentally given birth to a World Cup Where Are They Now series over the last couple of weeks. We've looked at the last seven Golden Boot, best young players, winning managers, winning captains and more. And today we continue in a similar vein with a look at, as many of you requested, the last seven Golden Glove winners. The Golden Glove, formerly known as the Yashin Award, is an accolade handed to the goalkeeper who is deemed to have put in the most impressive performances at a World Cup Finals. Here are our last seven World Cup Golden Glove winners. Where are they now? Manuel Neuer, Bayern Munich. We start with the most recent recipient of the Golden Glove Award, German shot stopper Manuel Neuer. The 2014 World Cup saw a number of impressive goalkeeping performances, notably including the likes of Guillermo Ochoa and Keylor Navas, but Germany's Manuel Neuer was judged to have been the most impressive. Then at the peak of his powers, Neuer was formidable between the sticks and the ultimate sweeper-keeper as Germany won the World Cup for the first time since 1990. Four years on, Neuer has just recovered from a long-term injury, and whilst he looked a little rusty in Russia, we'd expect him to be back to his best for Bayern next season. Iker Casillas, Porto There's just a slight danger that Iker Casillas' legacy is starting to be somewhat underplayed by some due to his career tailing off in a way someone like Gianluigi Buffon has him. It's important to remember that Casillas was already Real Madrid's number one at the age of 18, and he gave a decade and a half of impeccable service to the club. Renowned for his extraordinary reflexes and lightning reactions, Casillas was Spain's undisputed first choice when they won the World Cup in 2010. Now aged 37, Casillas left Real in 2015 to join current club Porto. Gianluigi Buffon, PSG Blink and you'd have missed it, but Italy and Juventus legend Gianluigi Buffon joined PSG last week. Arguably the greatest goalkeeper of his generation, Buffon has been an incredible servant to the Italian game, and his 178 caps is a record for a European player, a record which he set by overtaking Ike Casillas. Buffon was exceptional in 2006, conceding just two goals over the course of the entire tournament, and he came second in that year's Ballon d'Or. Following 17 years at Juventus, the now 40-year-old Buffon recently signed a one-year deal with French champions PSG. Oliver Kahn, Pundit The first Golden Glove winner in this seven who didn't play for the country which ultimately won the tournament, Oliver Kahn was the most obvious winner of the award in the tournament's history. Germany required a qualifier to reach the 2002 World Cup, and they went into the finals with a thoroughly mediocre squad by their standards. They got an incredibly kind draw, but still required the heroics of Khan to drag them to the final, where only the sheer genius of Ronaldo could beat him. Khan retired from football in 2008, and he now works as a football pundit on German TV. Fabian Barthez, retired slash motorsport. Back to 1998, and back to Golden Glove winners who won the World Cup trophy. Fabian Barthez was an eccentric shot stopper who had fantastic reflexes, which he combined with an ability to give his manager a heart attack. Brilliant at his best, and a liability at his worst, fortunately for France, Barthez was at his best in 1998. He conceded only twice, as the French won the World Cup for the first time on home soil. Barthez went on to join Manchester United, but played his last game as a goalkeeper in 2007. After hanging up his gloves, Barthez moved into motorsport, competing in races such as the French GT Championship and Le Mans. Barthez still dabbles in motorsport, as well as poker, but less frequently at the age of 47. Michel Prudhomme, manager unattached. One of the finest Belgian footballers of all time, Michel Prudhomme was an exceptional goalkeeper. A tremendous all-round keeper with terrific reflexes, Prudhomme won trophies with Standard Liège, Mechelen and Benfica, but never with the Belgian national team. He was named as the best goalkeeper at the 1994 World Cup in the USA though, the year he retired from international football. Since retiring from the game, Prudhomme has moved into management, most recently having spent four years in charge of Club Bruges. Luis Gabello Conejo, youth coach, and Sergio Javier Goicochea, TV host. The 1990 World Cup was an incredible tournament for goalkeepers, so perhaps it's fitting that it is the only tournament where the award for best goalkeeper was a tie. However, it wasn't the big names of Peter Shilton or Walter Zenger who shared the top prize, but rather Luis Cabello Conejo and Sergio Javier Goicochea. Conejo was a star of the Costa Rican game, and he was in inspired form as the nation finished above Sweden and Scotland to get out of the group stages. 
After the tournament, Conejo spent four years playing in Spain, and he now works with the national team, coaching and mentoring the nation's best young goalkeepers, including Keylor Navas. Goico Chea, meanwhile, was Argentina's number one at the finals. He kept clean sheets against Brazil and Yugoslavia in the knockout stages, as well as making match-winning penalty saves against Yugoslavia and Italy in the quarter and semi-finals. Goico Chea later had a brief stint in France with Brest, but played predominantly in Argentina, alongside his work as a male model. Now aged 54, he currently hosts Argentinian football show Elegante Sports. So that's it for our 7. Let us know your thoughts and any other World Cup ideas you'd like to see from us in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the people's channel of HITC7s. Also, we recently set up a Twitter account, so you can now follow us and get in touch. Our username is simply at HITC7s.